Hey guys, today I'll be showing you a glueless wig install from Wig and Tear. This is their 7x6 waist closure body wave wig in 24 inches. So it comes pre-plugged with the knots on the lace already bleached. So this is a very low maintenance, beginner friendly wig. I won't be adding any lace glue, mousse, hairspray, or baby hairs to this lace. It already looks very natural and clean. The wig is constructed with wig combs and adjustable strap to keep the wig from coming off. It also came pre-curled, so you can leave it styled as is, or if you want to go back in and recurl it, straighten this hair, you can do that as well. And here's how the lace looks against my skin. So now I'm just going to put the wig on to see how it fits and how it looks overall. And as y'all can see, the lace did not match my skin tone, but that is an easy fix. I just used some of my foundation cream by Ruby Kisses in the number 16. I used a darker shade this time, but just depending on how the lace looks, sometimes I use the lighter shade as well. And I like to make sure that I put the makeup on every part of the lace, especially the edges. This is the part where I am just taking my time coating that makeup on the lace because I really want it to melt into my skin. And after adding the makeup, I put the wig back on and push my wig cap back a little bit so that my lace can be in front of my wig cap. Then I am taking my rat tail comb to make the part straighter. I really didn't like how the curls looked on me, so I brushed them out and I still really didn't like how the curls looked, so I will recurl this whole wig and you guys will see that towards the end. But before I do that, I just take my silkening gloss by Kenra and I apply that all over the hair to make the hair more silkier and get rid of any frizziness that the hair has. I also love this gloss because it just gives the hair a very like natural shine without it looking greasy and stringy. So I'm always using this silkening gloss on all of my wigs. I'm using my wax stick to lay down any short hairs and to flatten the top of this closure. And to really make sure that the closure is flat and not bulky, I'll take my hot comb and comb through the top of the hair a couple of times until I feel like it's flat enough. And there was still a little bit of bulkiness on one side so I went back in and made smaller sections and I pretty much just repeated the steps that I did. I added some more of my wax stick and then I went in and hot combed the smaller sections. I will say just be careful with the wax stick. You don't want to apply too much because your hair can end up looking greasy at the top so just remember that a little goes a long way.
Once I feel like the top of my head looks flat enough, I'll go in with some more foundation cream in another shade to clean the part up. And for me, adding this foundation cream to the part really just makes the part wider without having to tweeze it and also straighter as you guys can see. And here's a better view of how the curls looked comb out. And like I said earlier, I didn't like it like this. It just looked like a failed attempt to curl my hair. So I did go back in and added some better curls. I always work in sections whenever I'm curling my hair. It just makes the process a lot easier. I just added, you know, a few long curls. I didn't go too high with these curls. I just wanted some volume, but I didn't want it to look very curly. I will say, as I was curling this hair, I really like how well it's holding the curls. You guys will see the outcome in a few minutes, but my camera actually died, so I recorded the last part later on in the day, and I didn't have to touch up any of the curls, surprisingly. This is the finished look. I loved how the curls came out and how silky and soft this hair look. This whole process took me about 30 minutes, y'all. And if I didn't have to recurl this hair, I would have been done much quicker. But that is pretty much it. I will leave all of the hair information in my description box. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.